What's going on lads and ladies? Enjoy this serious reddit video about epic reddit posts and comments. Throw a like and subscribe. Which legendary reddit post, comment can you still not get over? The story of you slash Jason Inhill is one of the saddest stories that I have read on the internet. If you guys don't know the story you slash Jason Inhill was a fellow reddit user that posted his story regarding his wife's cheating with his neighbor on r slash relationship advice. r slash relationship advice told him that he will be better off divorcing his wife than to deal with her. A few days later he posts something on r slash legal advice to see how he can secure custody of his two children during the divorce. His wife, named Brandy Welly, found the r slash legal advice thread. The same day she found the reddit post she kills both kids despite her soon to be ex-husband. Brandy then calls 911 saying to the operator that she stabbed herself and her two children because her husband was divorcing her. The call was recorded with Brandy showing no remorse or emotion during the call. This whole situation was unfolding live on reddit and 4chan. Brandy was given 120 years in prison with the jury saying she doesn't regret her decision not one bit. Holy it that was much worse than I expected. The man whose girlfriend buried his canned beans in the woods. My favorite response to that story is the guy with the metal detector who says I'll find those freaking beans. I will not jeopardize the beans. A recent one, but that 40 something year old guy who bought like, 5 Plitham bikes to give to the family of his 21 year old Eastern European wife, because they told him it was tradition in their country. Excuse me what? The description of how rabies kills you. The man who attempted to throw his steak out the window. His wife followed up with her version a little later. One time on our slash relationship advice some guy posted a thread called my 25m girlfriend 26f baked all the beans. Now I consider to end our relations. What do I do it's deleted now though, but I still have the full post. I discovered this in another one of these discredit posts, but honestly it's too good not to put here. Now without further ado, here it is. Hello. My girlfriend and me have done dating for 5 months. I thought this girl is very good, and became in love with her. Yet even so, on this Monday, I come home and found she has baked all my beans. Yes, all. Oh brother. In my cupboard I store several bag of bean, to make soft and to bake on some days, to have a bit of baked bean on my dinner. Or, heck. A lunch to some days. But on the Monday I find this girlfriend baked all the beans. I say why do you bake my beans? And she say something as I bakes them good to save time. So I bakes them all now. I am astonished and full of dismay. I say I can for not eat all the beans. She say she is froze many of the beans so as we can unfrozen the on a later day and eat some at a time. But, if a bean is froze and unfroze. The very good and very nice flavor of bean is gone far. A bean is best if baked fresh as a sunday pie. Not to be froze and unfroze. I told my jer friend I am so sad of this. As to my opinion the baking of the beans and to freeze them has ruined all my beans. She say I am gone haywire by my enragement and sad manners. But I hates what she did to my beans. On the days before monday I thought will we marry the girlfriend? Well it might be so. But now I am so sad she baked them beans. I am considered to end our relations and not be the boyfriend and girlfriend anymore. But, is my idea wrong? Could my girlfriend make promise to not bake the beans? I do not know what doing to do and how to feel for giving on her. The yes. All. Oh brother, kills me. But now I am so sad she baked them beans. This is the one that always gets me. So way back when, 2008 to 2009, some redditor got very excited over his 2am chili and posted an extensive tutorial, in full fricky bell peppers' style. Naturally, this became a meme. Concurrently, another redditor posted nothing less than the life hack of the century. Freeze a block of water, 
squirt shower gel on top. Freeze that. And now you have ice soap. TM. This was a fine enough goof, but the OP's insistence that this was much more efficient than putting shower gel on one's body made it become a meme. So what happens when two memes are popular at the same time? Exactly. Someone throws a block of chili and rub their body with it, and achieved the coveted number one spot. This site is weird like that. Sorry no links as I'm on mobile. Many thanks to whomever is willing to dig them up. There was a post about how a guy closed an elevator door on a dad and son who were trying to make it. The guy thought he was pressing the open button. So he smiled at them the entire time and closed on them. The image of this is hilarious. Huh. I did something similar by accident. But it was to my co-worker and when they made it upset, having a laugh this morning, eh. Hey. The poop knife. I don't remember the context. But it was f**ked and I love it. Original post. My family poops big. Maybe it's genetic. Maybe it's our diet. But everyone births giant logs of crap. If anyone has made a mega poop, you know that sometimes it won't flush. It lays across the hole in the bottom of the bowl and the vortex of draining water merely gives it a spin. As it mocks you. Growing up, this was a common enough occurrence that our family had a poop knife. It was an old rusty kitchen knife that hung on a nail in the laundry room, only to be used for that purpose. It was normal to walk through the hallway and have someone call out hey, can you get me the poop knife? I thought it was standard kit. You have your plunger, your toilet brush, and your poop knife. Fast forward to 22. It's been a day or two between poops and I'm over at my friend's house. My friend was the local dealer and always had guests is over because you can't buy weed without sitting on your ass and sampling it for an hour. I excuse myself and lay a gigantic turd. I look down and see that it's a sideways one, so I crack the door and call out for my friend. He arrives and I ask him for his poop knife. My what? Your poop knife? I say. I need to use it. Please. What the frick is a poop knife? Obviously he has one, but maybe he calls it by a more delicate name. A feckle cleaver? A dung divider? A guano glaive? I explain what it is I want and why I want it. He starts giggling. Then laughing. Then lots of people start laughing. It turns out, the music stopped and everyone heard my pleas through the door. It also turns out that none of them had poop knives, it was just my fricked up family with their fricked up bowels. FML. I told this to my wife last night who was amused and horrified at the same time. It turns out that she did not know what a poop knife was and had been using the old rusty knife hanging in the utility closet as a basic utility knife. Thankfully she didn't cook with it, but used it to open Amazon boxes. She will be getting her own utility knife now. The dude who had a girlfriend that struggled to quit smoking so he decided to take up smoking for a month just so he could show her how easy it is to quit if you are totally dedicated to quitting. He still smokes 10 years later. She quit a long time ago. There was a post a month or so ago about a girl whose boyfriend kept telling her she smells bad no matter how undeniably good she smelled. Finally he admitted that he was just telling her she smelled bad to keep her self esteem low enough she wouldn't leave him. Then she immediately dumped him. What's worse, sadder is the boyfriend admitted that his own father was the one who taught him to keep putting down a partner so they'd never leave. Yeah, like a sick cycle of abuse. You like that, you freaking retard? The guy asking for relationship advice, because his socks keep disappearing until he finds out his girlfriend is cleaning her it with it. It hits the fan. OP talks to her sister only to find out sister knows and is now mad at OP for being weirded out by it all. I think they are done which is sad OP was thinking about marrying the poop sock shake. She was cleaning her actual poop with his socks. She was wiping herself with the socks. Yes, I remember that one. At the end she left him, dodge a bullet. They ended up getting back together a year or so later, if I recall correctly. Yeah. Just read all the updates. 
back together and talking about marriage as of 5 months ago. That was quite the strange read. I remember one where some guy did some rendering of animation or something for if I recall correctly Disney and they paid him a bunch of money to basically do nothing, but run some program on his computer. He then for Reddit Karma turned a not yet released bit of animation into a meme and Disney found out about it and fired him so he ended up having to deliver mail. If anyone remembers that one and can find a link please do. I didn't do nothing. Subtitling is a fair amount of detailed work and a crap ton of typing. The real bliss of it all was never having to leave home and being very good at what I did. It wasn't a meme, either, just a screenshot of an unreleased show. They can take your job, but they cannot take your edit karma. I'm sure I'll be able to cash it all in any day now. He did the closed captioning for a load of stuff. For him it was a dream job. He got paid to watch TV in his PJs all day. He posted a single frame of an unreleased episode and somehow the mouse found it, and was able to trace it back to him. He owned up and hoped for the best, and they blacklisted him. Since the mouse and its properties accounted for such a huge amount of his potential clientele he was effectively forced out of the industry. I think he said that he didn't mind the mailman job, because it got him out of the house. But goddamn, if ever there was a story about killing the goose that laid the golden eggs. Make sure to like, subscribe and hit that notification bell like it owes you money. Remember to post your favorite comment from the video in the comment section below for a chance to be featured in my next video. I hope you enjoyed this fantastic video and I hope you are all staying safe. Show a small channel some love by liking and subscribing. Take care. Hip hip cheerio. Much love from me, Matt British.